Happy Friday, everybody. I'm wearing a different foundation today and I feel like it makes me look really pale and a bit ill. Um, I don't know. But yeah, it's Friday. Um, I'm so happy that it's Friday. This week's gone by really, really quickly, which is nice. We're gonna go back in the igloo tonight. I might do a bit of vlogging in there, but I've already done a vlog of us using the igloo for the first time and it's not really gonna be that different each time we're in there because it's just kind of chilling out in the igloo. But tomorrow we are going to Kelowna just for one night um, and we're going to take the dogs with us. So tomorrow's video is going to be really exciting and this is probably just kind of an introduction to it, I guess, an introduction to the vlog. I guess this is technically our first travel vlog of the year, but I don't really consider going to Kelowna as a travel vlog because it's like just up the road. It's like less than an hour's drive. So yeah, I mean, we're staying the night at a Airbnb, so we technically are traveling and going away, but I'm just so desperate to travel now and start travel vlogs. Travel vlogs is the main kind of thing I want to put out on this channel. But yeah, this is our first little trip. And then our next one will be in Easter. We're going a little bit further up the road. We're still staying in the Okanagan. Uh, we're going with my mum and dad this time and we've got a holiday home booked in Vernon, which looks so nice. I can't wait to go and show you around there. But yeah, our first mini little travel um, of the year tomorrow and our first little travel vlog, I guess, for the year. We're going to Kelowna tomorrow night. So I will be taking you along and sharing the whole trip with you. And we're gonna take the dogs with us tomorrow because it's pet friendly. And there's a couple of pet friendly breweries in Kelowna and good trails that we can take them to walk on. So yeah, I'm gonna go because I have work soon, but I hope you enjoy this Kelowna vlog. Bye. Are you excited for your holiday tomorrow? I'm gonna take you to Knox Mountain. Are you excited? into the little dog breweries. We were gonna go to Myra Canyon in Kelowna. We've not been there yet. Um, and it looks amazing, but it looks like it's still very snowy up there. So yeah, we're gonna try Knox Mountain for their W's tomorrow. <laughs> Look at them, they're so cute. Off we go. Molly's in the back. Yay, Kelowna! Okay, we've just got to Kelowna. We've got some very impatient girls because we said the walkies word to them, but we've still got to get there yet. Uh, Rich has just gone in to grab lunch. We're having Donair for lunch. <laughs> we got them some chicken. I'm having a falafel one. And Rich is actually having um, poutine Donair, which is interesting. But yeah, here's some of downtown Kelowna. There's the other lovely girl, there she is, hey. We're gonna go for a walk soon, okay? We're gonna go for a walk soon, darling. You're so pretty. You're such a beautiful girl. Aww. Okay, we're at Knox Mountain. And this is where we're gonna walk the dogs. They're very excited. <laughs> How about this? Look, you get all that space. Wow. When we came here last time in the summer, we thought this looked like a great place to take them. Right, I'm gonna go off because I need to get them off the leash. Get a good view, that's for sure. And they're having the time of their life. Oh, lovely. Oh, 
So we're just in the dog off leash bit, which is all fenced in. But then if you go up there, which is where we went in the summer last year, there's loads of different trails that you can take. But this is just a little off leash bit. Here's the view. You tried. You tried. We aren't actually going to go up and do the other trails today just because we've got the dogs with us. But this is very decent oh, for them. The reason, no, I'm, I'm happy to. The kebab we had for lunch. I'm happy to go up there. You were the one that was like, we need to get to the shops. This bit of the day is for the dogs. This is downtown, right near where we stayed last night, just around there. I'm going to go down on the boardwalk. We were made for each other to hold on to. I was carved out of bed beneath your moon. I was birthed in the mountains under the sun. Something's changed, you can't see my face in the ground no more. Something's changed, you can't see my face in the ground no more. We are living the dream together out here. hotel we usually stay in when we come to Kelowna. Last time we had a room just over there and look igloos. This is very similar to ours. Yeah they are similar. Yeah I think our room was literally that one. That one. <laughs> Quite cool. It feels really weird to not be staying there tonight, but it wasn't available and we wouldn't be able to take the dogs there, so. This was our room where we stayed in December <laughs> for Richard's birthday. <laughs> the igloos are very similar to ours. It's just a really nice walk along here. Nice and quiet as well, because we usually up down on this bit of Kelowna in the summer when it's a lot busier so it's nice being here while it's a bit quieter but it's still a nice day it's really mild and we're just waiting for check-in instructions now really hey so we're just waiting to check in now rich has gone in to get like the key fob because you access the parkade parking lot um with the key fob so he's just gone in and done that and I'm just waiting for him to get back and I just thought I'd quickly jump on because there hasn't been very much footage of my face uh for this one I think I put my like I said this wasn't really going to be a proper travel vlog because it's just an overnight stay at somewhere close by to home I think I need to really plan the structure of how these like for future travel how they're going to be but they are going to be a lot better than this one this is just kind of like a little overnight casual stay that i wanted to bring you along for so yeah i'm gonna once once we get access to the building obviously rich will see it before i do i want him to film a little tour and like first impressions video from me anyway it might be his first impressions and once we've settled in I'm, i can see an eagle over there in the sky in the distance uh, yeah, once we've checked in, given the girls something to drink, we're going to go out to 
Sorry, I'm like mesmerized by eagles. I see them all the time, but I still, every time I see them, I just think it's so cool. Uh, yeah, once we've checked in, we're going to go to Unleashed Brewing here in Kelowna, which is a dog friendly brewery. So we're really excited about that. So, yeah, I'll see you next when we get into the suite. As we're only one night tonight as well, I've just packed a backpack for tonight. And this backpack I actually got here in Kelowna when we came in June last year. And then I wore it for our whole road trip that we were in Canada because I just absolutely loved it. And I haven't, I used this on travel day when we flew uh, from the UK to Canada. And I haven't used it since then. And it's nice to see it again because I love this little rucksack. <laughs> I'm a very proud Canadian and I like to be patriotic and show <laughs> that I love Canada so I love this bag <laughs> welcome to our little home for the night very small and it's funny this is in like it's a residential building so obviously lots of people live here and I wonder if people live in ones this small. I guess that, I mean, they must do. But we've got our sofa here. Our bed goes into the wall. It's just an additional table, maybe? I thought it was a whiteboard. It is a whiteboard, but <laughs> oh, right. it's going to a table. I don't know. Why? We could eat there if we want. To oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I've got a table here, some storage. Our little kitchenette here. Oh wait, where is the bed? I would assume that the legs probably do go away, but because we're just here for one night. There's no point. No, it's not bad for the night. And our TV. Got a nice view of the mountains. And let me show you the balcony. Here. Little table and chairs. Yeah, but we're gonna head out to the dog pub now. Yay! <laughs> Just walking to the dog pub. These roads are so quiet, aren't they? Considering they're downtown. <laughs> loving life. Got their little doggy bed. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it is. They're so dog friendly. There's so many dog things. Residential street in Kelowna. Oh, she's so cheeky. <laughs> I think they've had a good day. It's a really nice evening. I'm not going to look directly at the sun as I'm filming it, like you <laughs> did in Harrison. Huh? This house really reminds me of a little Sims house, like a house you would build in The Sims. <laughs> the little wedding thing. Oh yeah, it's a famous house apparently. What's it called? Linden House. It's got a sign up here which explains. It does look nice. 
The outdoor area looks really nice. Oh, I'm not married, <laughs> It's a nice house. My granny used to send us these magazines. And I actually bought a couple with me, like some sentimental ones. June 1992, the year I was born. <laughs> this is the building we're staying in. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're back at the apartment Bye. now. We've just fed the girls and now we're going to order our food and probably going to watch Back to the Future. And I'm just going to show you the view outside because it's a really nice evening, isn't it? Amazing. Definitely watch the third one because that's in Arizona. Oh, on your yeah. Yeah. Right now, yeah, true. Yeah, look at how nice it is up tonight. But it is daylight savings tonight which is officially the start of spring. Yay! We survived our first Canadian winter. And it really wasn't very bad at all. Obviously in other parts of Canada, it's a lot colder. We, yeah, like we did have a few cold spells where it's like minus 20s, but it's not anywhere as bad as you think it's gonna be. Bye. Okay, the food is here. Um, this tabulo was eighteen dollars. So I can not have tabulo. We it's, thought it was going to be a massive pot like this. It's essentially some chopped up parsley, garlic, a bit of oil in it. So uh, that's my wrap. Hummus. These were like thirteen dollars. <laughs> They're eggplants. Hey, hey, hey! Stop it! Yeah. Olives. Oh. These weren't actually too bad price. I think this is probably like pita. Yeah, they're the pita chips. It does all look really nice to be fair. And then this is Richard's. Oh, the fries look so nice. Huh? The fries look really nice. So this is dinner. Yummy. Here comes the $55 Santorini wine. Buy the Turkish food. Hopefully, that'll be nice. And worth fifty-five dollars. Okay, this is us for the rest of the night. Super, super cozy. Probably gonna turn off now until tomorrow. Why you okay, and that's the end of our trip. We're just on our way home. Rich has just stopped out to walk the dogs so they can have a quick wee. But we're going home now. I'm not filming my face, I look absolutely awful. Didn't sleep great. Got really confused with the timing because we it was daylight savings last night and our phones were really low on batteries so we kept them off. So we were going off the time of the clock on the wall and <laughs> we were like, it was basically the time that we were meant to be checked out and we hadn't checked out. Uh, so it's been a bit stressful <laughs> and yeah, I feel a little bit stressed and a little awful, but yeah, just wanted to end the video here really uh, because we're going back home now. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming to Kelowna for the night with us. It wasn't really that exciting, this vlog. We didn't really do that much. And I kind of didn't plan this vlog out properly, uh, structure-wise, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Just trying to zoom in on the dogs here. <laughs> and our next travel vlog, and one that will be a lot better put together than this one, will be Vernon for Easter weekend. So until then, I'll see you soon. Bye.